James, as a president for these past many years, you have been most successful. We've stayed in the black when other arts organizations were either dying on the vine or having to merge because of their financial difficulties. You've taken us from snail mail through email and all aspects of the internet and our grants writing and our fund development uh, areas have all been most successful. James, I want to thank you for your exceptional leadership in the service you've given to the Plainfield Symphony. Since I joined the Board of Directors in 2009, I've witnessed firsthand your level of commitment, your level of dedication, and your affection for this organization. I especially want to commend you for the way you sought to bridge culture and community and to keep classical music alive in the Plainfield community and surrounding areas. All the best. Well, first off, James, uh, thank you very much for all you have done for the symphony. And uh, you may recall that I was there when you took over the presidency after Wendy had to step down somewhat suddenly. And fortunately for us, uh, you were there. Uh, you really launched us into the 21st century. Uh, maybe you didn't know what you were getting into, but it's been really, really good for all of us. And we all thank you very, very much for everything you've done. I'm deeply grateful for this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation for the gift you have given not only to Plainfield, but to Basking Ridge and all the neighboring communities of the Plainfield Symphony Orchestra. It is your expertise, foresightedness, and dedication that have made this gift possible for all of us. I say thank you to you and to your family and blessings to you all in the future. I remember the night of the Mahler concert when uh, Prince decided that he was going to talk inside instead of the back room, and he was going to use the piano, which he didn't use. But the thing of it was that everybody sat down front in the reserved seats. And of course, by the time that he finished talking, I thought that they were going to get up and go out for some breath of air or something, which they didn't. They sat there. So when the audience came in, the regular audience, and they looked at me being in charge of ushering and things, why people were seated in their seats. And I said, well, there was a lecture, blah, blah, and so forth. They didn't move. So I said to James, are you going to talk to them and tell them they have to move? And he said, well, you're in charge. Let Byron do it. So we let Byron do it, and he handled it pretty well. James, we're going to miss you. I will miss especially your strong voice when you welcomed the audiences to each concert and uh, gave some special instructions. And then when you also used your expertise in business at the board meetings, making wise decisions. And I liked your rapport with Sabine and more recently with Charles Prince, but I especially liked our parties after concerts, and uh, we'll miss you. James, congratulations on your new role at the Bunton Group. You truly will be missed here, my friend. With your tenure with the symphony, you had brought about forward-thinking leadership. You were always very inclusive, and you were always willing to collaborate. One of the things I always remember was that great evening, that last Plainfield Symphony Garden Party. I mean, everyone had such a wonderful time. It was so fantastic. I mean, so fantastic that several beverages later, my partner Craig tells me that we're hosting the next event. It was just a wonderful evening. And, you know, the Plainfield Symphony was just so wonderful in helping us with that event. Hi, James. I've been laboring away at the back of the bass section for about 12 years, so I was thrilled when they asked me up to join the board of directors not just because of the glamour and prestige aspect, but because I'd get a chance to work with you, a man who has really turned things around for this orchestra. It's been a privilege to work with you. Your eye for detail and perspective have been gifts to this orchestra, and we are forever in your debt. And speaking of debt, ever since you've been president, we've actually made money, and how many orchestras can say that? Thank you for everything, James. We'll miss you, we love you, and best, best of luck in all your future endeavors. James, I just want to say thank you so much. The time that you have been with the Plainfield Symphony 
has been a pleasure, not only for the board, but also the symphony and Plainfield and the community as a whole. You have brought a wonderful charm and have put the symphony on the map. Your hard work, your dedication, and your interest in just making the little things important have done a great, great significance for the symphony. The skills that you have brought from the marketing background and your interest in just making things unique and the sincere care that you've put into all the little things throughout the entire seasons that you've been with us have been greatly, greatly enhanced. James, thank you so much, and we wish you the best in the future. Thank you. I remember back when Charlie Weltner first asked me to join the board at your suggestion. Had I only known back then what I'd be getting myself into a year later. From that first meeting that I attended, I admired your style, and I especially admired the gift that you have to ask somebody to do something and then have them enjoy doing what you would ask them to do. Um, thank you for letting me learn from you this past year. It's because of that that I had the confidence to accept my new position. Good luck in everything that you're doing now, James. Hi, James. I'm so happy to be able to say in perpetuity on a DVD how great it was to work with you on the Plainfield Symphony Board. We had great camaraderie and good working ethics on the board uh, through the day-to-day -day issues with the symphony. And you and I had great fun working on some special events together, do cabaret, the Canal Walk Outreach Concert, and last but not least, and very memorably, the Fosh Yard Sale each year. Every May, I look forward to coming to your house at the crack of dawn, setting up our tables, sitting and having coffee with you and the family and getting to know Sonia and Tanner and Rourke so much better. And it was great to be able to see Tanner really blossom as a young retailer and director, entrepreneur at age seven. Anything at all, if it, if it can be picked up and carried out of the house, it's gone. Even better if it's got upholstery on it, James will sell it at a garage sale. It's to me, it's like I'm in a store, I have a job, and I'm doing my thing, but then my dad comes over, he's like, are you doing okay? Are you doing this correctly? Are you sure that you want to stay here? Or do you want to go do something else? You know, he's he, kind of like the boss. Yeah, he's like, he's like, are you ready? Are you set? Do you have everything in place? Is everything here? Is everything All the price there? tags up. The children's strollers, gone. Their playpen, gone. The kitchen table, gone. The butcher block table, gone. The kitchen chairs, gone. The folding chairs, gone. Every piece of sporting equipment we've probably ever had. James, thank you for being such an inspirational and energetic leader. You've left us a great legacy. Our great new website, better branding, constant contact, the junior board, outreach, things that we really needed to do but you actually got done. I'll never forget garage sales at your house either. The one that I worked at, it looked to me as though your young daughter was learning math by selling glassware at the garage sale. You need to appreciate that, that the Plainfield Symphony is a brand and James has done a great job of taking that brand and polishing it and rejuvenating it with helping with the marketing of it and the outreach of, of the symphony into the community as well as the social network. He's given us a good platform to grow uh, in the future. The percussion ensemble program going into the schools was a great idea that we were able to make happen, or you were able to make happen for us by setting the groundwork and getting us into the schools. Um, the wonderful thing was that the, the kids in the school could see the percussion section up close and personal and actually come forward and handle the instruments and touch the instruments and play the instruments with us during the program or after the program. And uh, so thank you for making that happen in, in the schools that we played in that your kids attended and also the seven or eight or nine other schools in Plainfield that we were able to get into and, and present our program to. One of the really important things that you did, at least for me, was to help with the budget for the symphony. And you got me to, uh, ahead of time, figure out each year exactly what we were going to need for our performances for the next year. I thought I was going to 
really, you know, I thought, I can't do this, I can't do it. And uh, sure enough, I was able to sit down with a pencil and paper or whatever and figure out with my, uh, you know, uh, my books on what we were going to need financially for each program that we did. And that, that was a monumental thing to significantly help in, in the way of musicians. And another thing we did right in the very beginning uh, that it was your suggestion was that we went down to the train station with some of the other musicians. There we are in the morning on the, on the train station waiting for all these people going to work and we're out there playing classical music <laughs> to, uh, you know, get, you know, generate more interest in the symphony. And that was your idea and it was wonderful. Hey James, I ran all the way here just to say thank you. Just kidding, I live next door, and good thing I don't make a profession of singing. I have nothing. Anyway, um, thank you for giving me a wonderful opportunity to work with the Plainfield Symphony and the Junior Board, and I am so pleased to tell you that um, we have maybe six to eight candidates, uh, and one from the Plainfield High School, and I'm working in concert with uh, Rose and she's been wonderful. And I look to have this to be one of the most successful years we have. And again, thank you. And don't forget to buy the ornaments. James, uh, I don't know if you remember, but the last request that you made of me was that, uh, Rose, we need more junior board members. And guess what, James? It's done. I told you then that not to worry, it's a done deal. We have more than enough. So smile for me. Hey James, I wanted to say uh, thanks for your time on the symphony. I really appreciate um, the experience that I had with you. Um, in that, I found that I grew as a better person because of what you did, um, because of your leadership, your ability to bring the team together, uh, to bring a sense of cohesiveness, to uh, expand the symphony's reach into the community, and uh, just overall being a damn good person that you are. Um, and that I appreciate because you made me a better person in that I uh, wanted to go out and do better in the community, to make my family life better, to bring a better sense of friendship into my life. Again, all because of the example that you set. And again, I appreciate that. Thank you. Brenda Anderson asked me the other day, she said, you know, everyone always talks about what James has given to the symphony, but I wonder what the symphony has given to James. And I would suggest that the symphony has given James the opportunity to take all of his talents, honed after far too many years in the corporate world, and put them into the service of community, into performing arts, artists, neighbors, and in the shared experience that becomes our collective history. That's James's passion, and that's what the symphony's given to James. Mm -hmm.